Looking for the best motherboard for the Ryzen 7 7800X3D? In this video, we've done an extensive review of the top motherboards for the Ryzen 7 7800X3D and rated them according to VRM design, aesthetics, features, and value for money. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. MSI B650 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi Best Budget Motherboard for Ryzen 7 7800X3D The MSI B650 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi is a great option for a budget build with the Ryzen 7 7800X3D offering a low retail price point compared to its competitors without compromising on any of the essentials that you'd need to build a solid PC. This motherboard offers adequate VRMs along with excellent connectivity options and comes with a new Wi-Fi 6E built in for cherry on top. Looking into the design and aesthetics, you're not going to find any RGB on the motherboard. For this price range, frankly, that shouldn't be your main concern either. On the VRM heatsink, you'll find the typical MSI branding with black and white dots and lines, and it follows the black and grayish theme throughout the board to further complement the overall look. For a budget motherboard, it certainly does a great job at maintaining a decent aesthetic and highlighting different features of the board in relevant places. The board also uses a silver steel armor PCIe slot, which not only reinforces the slot, but also further continues the established theme of the board, followed by the chipset heatsink in the same aesthetic. All of this establishes a design harmony when looking at the board, which is certainly appreciable at a budget price point. Coming to the power delivery, it uses a 15-phase VRM setup, 12 plus 2 plus 1, which is cooled by two heatsinks. These heatsinks use aluminum along with a fin design on the sides and are relatively thick. You also get high-quality thermal pads and choke pads that ensure the performance remains stable while your cores are running at a high speed. This allows them to manage the VRM thermals quite effectively, providing acceptable temperature levels of around 82 degrees Celsius in Cinebench benchmark tests. With a solid power delivery for your components, you're looking at potential overhead even for overclocking. It also provides two 8-pin power connectors for the CPU. Needless to say, the power delivery will not be your bottleneck when it comes to performance. Speaking of performance, the board features four DDR5 memory slots with support for speeds up to 7200 MHz and a maximum capacity of 256 GB. Along with that, you're looking at two PCIe Gen 4 X16 slots for your graphics card. There's no support for PCIe Gen 5, both in storage and X16 slots, so that is something to consider if you're really looking to future-proof your build. For storage, you're getting two M2 Gen 4 slots with a dedicated heatsink and thermal pad for one of the slots that MSI is naming Shield Frozer. You also get an easy M2 clip that removes the need for a screw, making it even easier to install SSDs. This is a neat little addition to the features and not a common sight in this range. In terms of connectivity, you get seven USB ports on the rear I.O. The great thing is all of these ports are USB 3.0, so you don't have to worry about using an inferior port mistakenly. On the back panel, there's also an HDMI and DisplayPort for integrated graphics, along with a 2.5 gig Realtek Ethernet port and Wi-Fi connectors for the built-in AMD Wi-Fi 6E support. All of this is great, however the I.O. Shield doesn't come pre-installed. You'll need to install it manually before installing the motherboard. Compared to its competitors like the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi or the Asus Tough Gaming B650e Wi-Fi, the MSI board provides a better value for money without missing any important features. Plus, you get better connectivity options compared to the ASUS equivalent, along with a slightly better VRM setup. 
All in all, the MSI B650 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi is a great option for a new-gen budget setup that offers all of the connectivity options you'll ever need, along with a decent VRM setup that ensures the motherboard performs under high loads. Before moving on to the next motherboard, it would really help us continue making more videos if you support us by just hitting the like button and subscribe, or even with a comment, so that we know if you like it or if there's something we can do to improve next time. I promise it costs nothing. Just a few seconds. Number 2. Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master. Best premium motherboard for Ryzen 7 7800X3D. The Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master is an exceptional motherboard, perfect for users seeking to unleash the full potential of the 7800X3D. Its fantastic feature set, stunning design, and compatibility with the latest technology make it the best high-end motherboard for this CPU, especially if you plan to overclock your CPU to the max and need top 4K gaming performance. With its astonishing 16 plus 2 plus 2 phase VRM design and advanced cooling solutions such as the Fins Array 3, Mega Heat Pipe, Thermal Pad, and dedicated heatsinks for each M2 slot, the Aorus Master ensures optimal power delivery and stability. In addition, these features contribute to impressive thermal performance during extreme overclocking sessions, satisfying the needs of performance enthusiasts. In terms of storage, it truly shines with its diverse and lightning-fast options, boasting 4 M.2 slots and 6 SATA ports. This motherboard accommodates various storage configurations, including two PCIe 5.0x4 M.2 slots for cutting-edge storage technology. Furthermore, its support for up to 128GB of DDR5 memory and a maximum frequency of over 6600MHz makes it a future-proof investment for users looking to stay ahead of the curve. Connectivity-wise, the board stands out with unmatched PCIe and USB support. It caters to every possible need, featuring three PCIe slots, including one PCIe 5.0 slot and an extensive selection of USB ports. The Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 support also add to the appeal of this high-end motherboard. These features cater to both gamers and content creators, making it a well-rounded option for users with varying needs. Not only is the X670E Aorus Master a powerhouse in terms of performance, but it also boasts a stunning design with a sleek black finish on the PCB and captivating RGB effects on the I.O. cover. It adds a touch of elegance to any build, making it a great choice for those who value aesthetics in addition to performance. Nevertheless, you should consider the form factor of the X670E Aorus Master, as it's an E80X motherboard, so you must ensure that you have a compatible PC case to accommodate the larger size of this motherboard. In conclusion, the Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master is a top-tier choice for performance enthusiasts and high-end users who prioritize power, cooling, and advanced features. Its impressive feature set and stunning design make it the best high-end motherboard for the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, especially if you plan to overclock it. While it may come at a premium price, the performance and experience it offers make it a worthwhile investment for those who demand the best. Number 1. Asus ROG Strix B650A Gaming Our top choice Asus ROG Strix B650A is an all-rounder for CPUs like the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, offering all of the important features that are required from an excellent motherboard. With a great VRM design to keep the motherboard cool, connectivity options that don't leave any box unchecked, and plenty of expansion slots and storage. Starting off with the design, it's apparent Asus is targeting white-themed builds here. The board rocks a white and black theme, with white being the more predominant color of the two. The VRM heatsink showcases the ROG Strix logo with RGB that can be controlled via the software suite when powered on. 
You will find white elements on the expansion slots, supporting the overall white feel of the board. Even the I.O. shield is not left out. The chipset and M2 heatsinks are part of the overall branding of the board, reflecting the ROG Strix product. For power delivery, you're looking at a 12 plus 2 plus 1 phase design of VRM, with a giant heatsink complemented by the fins design. These power stages are rated for 60 amps each, allowing for stable delivery throughout the board. This is assisted by efficient thermal pads between the heatsinks, high-end chokes, and durable capacitors, along with a six-layer PCB design that ensures the board doesn't run into any overheating trouble. This also leaves ample room for overclocking with technologies like AMD PBO that can push the voltages of your CPU to increase overall performance. Talking of performance, the board also features a single PCIe Gen 5 M2 slot along with two Gen 4 slots, all of which come with a heatsink to maximize the performance of your SSDs. This only gets better with the inclusion of M2 Q-Latch to easily install the SSDs without needing a traditional screw. However, as for your graphics card, you get two Gen 4 PCIe X16 slots, which leaves some desire for at least a single Gen 5 slot. Where you're not left wanting is the memory support, with 4x DDR5 RAM slots that support up to 7600MHz with a total capacity of 192GB. This also comes with the AMD Expo support for overclocking your memory, pushing them to their real speeds. Similar to the Q-latches for M2, the first PCIe X16 slot comes with a Q-release button that unlocks your graphics card with a simple press. This is located right above the chipset heatsink, which is an unconventional spot for the feature, and users might be left wondering if they haven't read the manual. You will not be left wondering during the boot process, however, as it comes with four onboard Q LEDs that indicate the boot status of your PC. These Q LEDs can be especially helpful when troubleshooting any boot issues on your computer. This is topped up with the included BIOS flashback functionality, which makes it easy to reset your BIOS firmware in case of any mishaps or booting trouble. Finally, connectivity is a solid stronghold for the board, as it offers 9 USB ports on the rear panel, four of which are USB Gen 2 and the remaining five Gen 3. Along with that, you get options for seven front USB ports, with two Gen 3 connectors and two USB Gen 3 headers. In terms of network connectivity, the board uses an Intel 2.5 gigabit network chip instead of Realtek, along with Wi-Fi 6E support built in, the antenna for which is included in the box. Coming to comparisons, the ROG Strix B650A competes with the MSI Mag Tomahawk B650 and AS ROG B650 Pro RS, offering better VRM efficiency than both of these boards, along with Wi-Fi 6E support that's missing from the AS ROG counterpart. Not to mention, the ROG Strix model takes home the design competition as well, by integrating RGB and an overall more aesthetic look. To conclude, the Aces ROG Strix B650A Gaming is a houseful with tons of options for RGB, lots of connectivity, great VRM thermals, and lots of room for potential overclock. Not to mention, it's a great addition to white theme builds, as the card doesn't compromise on looks whatsoever. So, what do you think? Which of these is the best graphics card for you? Or do you think another GPU is better for the Ryzen 7 7800X3D? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.